Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. My name is Chloe Galindo. And I'm Casey. Welcome to WCN. We're back from the weekend. Re-energized. Not really, but, you know, whatever. More or less. Well, actually, that Super Bowl, though. Super happy now. the Broncos won. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. All right, so the one thing that I have to say about the Super Bowl, okay? Every, what are you, all right. Nice. Everybody who thought that Carolina was going to win, here's what you forgot. All right, so arguably, you've got Carolina's offense, number one, right? Sure. Okay. And then Denver's I'll, number one defense. That's right. They forgot the nature of the game. And when you have the number one defense, that can potentially serve as an offense as well. And you saw it in the first quarter whenever they stripped the ball from Newton and made that touchdown. That's how they got points. The defense so made those points. So when you have an awesome defense, you also could have a good offense. Plus having Peyton Manning and all those sacks and oh my goodness. The game was won before it even started. So sorry for those of you who are rooting for Carolina, but... Dang, she just tore y'all up. Broncos were gonna win. We all knew it. That was so, sophisticated. Um, uh, sorry, uh, that, those are just my two cents on it. If you believe it or not, whatever. You can blame the slippery turf or the slippery football, whatever you want. But, uh, yeah. The Broncos had the cooler jerseys. That's just my theory. And I'm gonna stick with the it. The Broncos won because they had cooler jerseys. That's right. Okay, so to start off, remember today is Monday, February 8th, which means they are cracking down on hoodies. Um, let's see. So the first time that you get to take it up, you can go get it after school. The second time, you're going to have to call a parent. And the third time or after that, uh, they're going to keep it in the office. And if you don't pick it up, by a, have, it pop, well, have it picked up by a parent, then after a two-week period, they're going to send it to charity. So just take off your hoodie. Don't, don't waste, not don't waste the hoodie, but keep your hoodie, you know? That's right. Uh, the town show is scheduled for February 17th in the pack. Make plans to come attend and enjoy some of the great towns here at KHS. All right, Pi Day is coming up, the day for all us math nerds out there. That will be March 14th, and it is because the first three digits are 3.14. March 14th makes sense. Uh, they're going to be selling, as it says here, adorkable t shirts that you oh, can buy. That's pretty cute. And they will have several pie themed contests. In addition, several KHS teachers have volunteered to take on the pie in the face celebration of Pie Day, including Coach Cutie Pie Patterson, <laughs> Maestra Honey Pie Stevens, and Coach Apple Pie Jackson, and finally Miss Cold as Eskimo Pie Croft. Guys, I can't make this up. This is all written on the paper. <laughs> These are their names, and those will be who are participating in the pie in the face activity. Sweet. <laughs> okay, Miss Bubo is starting an after school book club. The first book that they will be reading is called Every Last Word. It's about a high school girl with co obsessive compulsive disorder and a secret writing club. If you would like to participate, stop by the library to sign up by February 9th so we know how many books to buy. You don't have to pay for the books, just come sign up by the 9th and once the books are here, we'll start reading. That is awesome. Free books and a free book club? What's better than that? That's what I'm about. great. So the final thing that we have to say is the spring blood drive that is this Wednesday in the PE gym. Please come by Mr. Burt's room to sign up. If you're 16, you must get a permission form signed by your parent in order to donate. Uh, remember, seniors must have two donations this year to get the red cord, and everybody else must have four throughout their high school years. And the blood goes to save lives throughout North Texas, and each donation can potentially save three lives. So make sure that you eat and drink lots of healthy foods before you do this, and... Awesome. That's awesome. All right, so you know, it's Monday. Our brains are kind of tired. I myself am very tired, so I'm gonna get a little something, something to get y'all's brains rolling, all right? Okay. What if dogs bring back the ball because they think you like throwing it? My name's Casey Ramirez. 
<laughs> that was pretty. I, I saw that and it exploded yeah, my it's mind. Just, it's yeah, it's just because you like them. Okay, and my name's Chloe Glendale. We'll see y'all next time. How did I get